this is the gear cutting machine that I made a while ago. I found a new motor for it, a 110 volt motor from an air cleaning unit that's a bit more powerful than the 12 volt motor I had before. It's not really a gear cutting machine, it's a gear indexing machine. The gear to be cut is here. Uh, this is a flattened one inch pulley and I'm trying to make a one inch gear. So this is one of the most expensive Meccano parts and I'm making an equivalent from one of the cheapest Meccano parts. Uh, the machine is very simple. There is a micro switch here and when you pull the carriage forward which you do by pulling on the handle here with your thumb here but you should do that with two hands but of course I'm not because I'm holding the camera. When you pull the carriage forward it starts and you can see that here is the blade which is just a cutting wheel for a Dremel drill. That's all it is. Okay, so the gear is indexed by the, the red piece there that just um, sits in the gear and holds it still and then the gear to be cut is on the same axle, it's a tri-flat axle and so it stays in regulation and uh, you just move the gear around one tooth at a time and make your cut. So I've made the first cut here, let's, if I can do this with one hand, you move back the indexer thing to the next tooth, it's ready to go, and then just pull the carriage forward and hopefully it'll cut a slot in the right place. So here we go. These two parts here are an adjustment for the depth of the cut. As you can see, the cut wasn't deep enough. So we'll adjust it, bring these out, say half a turn. Tighten them back up again. Now hopefully the blade will come forward further and the cut will be correct. So here we go. It will stall occasionally. second cut. So we'll take the gear round another tooth. Looks like I missed and I took it two teeth forward. So we can just go back and fill in the missing tooth. Hopefully that's it. Very difficult with only one hand. And while we're at it, 
we'll finish off that first cut. The machine is really only an indexing machine. It doesn't cut the gears, it doesn't cut the teeth. That has to be done with a Dremel drill. It's easy, it's soft brass and uh, it's not hard to do. You just have to be careful because if you make a mistake you've messed up the whole thing. Anyway, I made quite a few uh, quite reasonable gears using this machine. Uh, here's a finished gear. It works quite well. It works fine with another pinion or with a proper Meccano one inch gear. Two of them will mesh together a little rough as the teeth are only cut by hand, by eye, so not exactly a precision process.